So um, that's basically that's basically a very basic mix. Now wh what we need to do is we need to do a couple of finishing touches here for our first mix. For for instance, we need to um, as you can if you if you will listen to the this kind of mid section here. Sorry, uh, over here. You can hear there's quite a lot of reverb in this mix. It's actually uh, quite, it's, it's too much reverb. So we're going to deal a bit with the reverb here and we'll, we'll select this. And what we want to do is we want to actually start by high passing the reverb just to get rid of those uh, bass frequencies that I talked about earlier that can easily muddy up your mix. So we'll, uh, we'll, do a, we'll do a high pass, we'll search for high pass here. There we go, in voila, we'll add that, put that pre-fader just after the reverb this is important oh well actually it doesn't yeah i think it's important and we'll we'll pull this around to make make it kind of i, I usually try and filter out things uh, with the reverb that's under 200 hertz because i don't feel like that's contributing anything to the to the reverb so we'll try try that to start with See if you can hear any difference here by deactivating and activating the the, the high pass filter. Maybe it's more a mental difference than anything, but yeah. Uh, so that's that's what I'm gonna do. I'm also going to bring down the general level here of the the, the reverb, uh, just in order to. Um, yeah, to, to, yeah, we need we need less reverb in the song in general, I think. So, so that's a bit better now. Um, what well, we forgot to do all through the mixing process, we forgot to look here. So we're going to we're going to play the song. Um, actually, we'll we'll play it from the beginning and just listen a bit to it, at least down to to maybe here, and we'll ha we'll have a look at the fader at the same time. Actually, we can do that from here. So we'll select the master track and have a look at the fader uh, at how much the kind of if the song peaks. Mm -hmm.
So I think they'll do. Um, so generally, I think it sounds okay. When we look at this, you can see that we peaked 1.1 at one point, but this wasn't very often. We also got uh, just slightly over, uh, just slightly over uh, zero decibels at another point in the song. So the levels are are fairly okay. Now we're ready to do the the finishing touches of this tutorial and of uh, this kind of first round of mixing of this song. Now, generally, what what you what you want to do is you want to take a pretty extensive break from mixing or um, to kind of reset your ears and get back with fresh fresh ears. I've also I've sat here and I've mixed for uh, or rather I've mixed with my headphones only. I haven't listened to my monitors um, because I mean. One of the most crappy rooms acoustically uh, ever invented, as you can hear by the echo uh, behind my voice. So, but what, what you want to do is you want to listen to the mix in uh, in different systems, in your car, in your on your monitors, in your headphones, in your other headphones, in your um, yeah, in your in your crappy headphones, like any any system where you you're you're used to listening to music, you, you'd want to listen to the mix, and then contemplate about how it sounds and if it's worth making changes to the mix. Uh, but generally, yeah, leave the mix for quite a while and then get back and listen to through it again uh, and make adjustments as necessary. But we're not going to do that here. But what we are going to do is we're going to do the finishing touches now, which is going to be adding, um, adding our uh, a, a limiter to the, to the master bus and then just making sure that everything is fairly properly balanced. So uh, yeah, we're going to add a, a limiter here. And for this, I'm going to insert a plugin. I'm going to search for, so I can start by searching for limiter. Yeah, uh, this one, full look ahead limiter version two. That's a pretty nice one. Uh, I use, I usually use Fonz's uh, Cita, dig, uh, yeah, digital peak limiter, uh, but I am, unsure as to what the license status of that is um i think it's gpl so I, I i should be able to use it but it's anyway it's it's a um uh, it's it's an external application as well so we'd have to deal with sense and uh, oh sorry inserts and things like that and that's uh, something for another tutorial but we'll start up we'll use the full look ahead limiter here so we'll insert that here click in here and just uh listen to just go through and I know this this was a place where uh, we peaked before so this limiter will what, will what the limiter will do is it will squash all of the peaks so it will make sure that there's no way for our master bus to peak so now of course um, we won't be able to see that here because we're going to uh, or wait actually we can do it this way so here, we should be able to see it now. It's properly chained up. There you can see, it pops up to, let's see where that was. So it's, it's just around here. It pops up to 0, 0 and if we deactivate the limiter, you can see that it goes goes above. So the limiter pr um, protects the kind of mix from going too high. Uh, so that's uh, a basic thing to add. Th this will make sure that your mix don't distort. It's, uh, you, you can push the levels a bit higher without having to worry. It'll make sure that individual peaks don't ruin your entire mix and things like that. Uh, the final thing we're going to do, actually, and this is, uh, well, it's, it's not very advanced, but still, it's something that you shouldn't worry about starting out, but something that might be funny to see. We're going to use a another, um, another meter. We are going to use one of these K-meters. Now, the K-meters are, uh, I think it's Bob Katz, uh, a legendary uh, mastering engineer who kind of invented... Um, the principle behind these meters at least and what the the k meters meter, uh, measure is kind of the the, um, the dynamic range or the loudness of the entire song uh, or of the song in general so uh, and these correspond to different levels where k12 is the highest one this would correspond to um, this would be suitable for 
uh, more rock or more uh, intense music, this one and the K20 is more suitable for uh, music with a lot of dynamic range. So, for example, uh, sorry, um, uh, classical music and things like that. We are going to use the K12 just to get. Uh, that's what I usually use, and it'll give us uh, quite a nice. Uh, a nice view of uh, the kind of the levels we're at and the way these k meters work or at least the way i've understood that they work uh, is that let's start listening here and you can see that the the meter looks sorry i'm gonna pull this down the meter looks uh, very different to how it how it usually looks uh, so with the k meters what you want to do is you want um your loudest parts, oh, and only your loudest parts uh, in the song to be allowed to go up to uh, the red here. And that'll make it sound pretty okay. So, uh, as you can hear, we're in our loudest part. This is the, the chorus, the second part of the chorus with everything playing at once, except for the, the bridge thing here. Uh, sorry, this one. So, what we want to do is, or what we can do, uh, is we can push the levels a bit here uh, on the master in the limiter to make it kind of reach the, uh, the red level here. So if we pull up our limiter here and we, we start increasing the input gain here. You can hear that the sound increases. So this will compress the song. make it louder overall. We'll keep increasing this. Oh, there we go. You can see we're, we're, we're almost at the red here. Yeah, we're at the red. So we'll put this at four and see what happens. You can see that in general in the course, we're almost at red. So we'll pull this down again. We'll pull this to 3.5, that should be enough. So what, what, what we do here is we, we, we increase the loudness of the song in a reasonable way. So if we pull this up a bit here. Uh, what, what this does is it, um, it increases the loudness of the song, but it also messes with the balance we've created in the mix. So if you want to do this, if you want to push the levels a bit higher, I very much recommend not going uh, higher than I did here. Not making your song sound uh, go uh, go more than a, just a little bit on the red here with the we're on the K12 meter here, uh, but you also need to listen to the mix again. And you also need to adjust it. So I think the mix now has too high drums and too low melodies. So if we pull down the drums three notches here. We pull up these three notches. We'll listen to it again. Too high volume, and you can hear it sounds pretty bad overall. So I'm just gonna go through the channels and adjust them to the kind of loudness we've set now. So yeah, that sounds okay, I guess. It's not it's not super good. You see we're still in the we're still uh, at a pretty good level here overall. So I'm actually going to conclude here. I'm going to this isn't by any means a perfect mix. It's uh, it could be done way better, but it's it's a mix and it's fairly balanced and I've shown you that you can increase the loudness without ruining everything at least. Um, and yeah, this is just, yeah, like it, like we said originally, this is a, uh, a very basic tutorial. Uh, it's to get you started, get you warm, uh, and get you kind of, yeah, get you warmed up and get you 
in the kind of mindset of mixing and how you can uh, how you can approach this and how you can make things sound. So with that said, I'll thank for me for this time and I hope that you learned um, something you didn't know before. And if not, I hope it was a good repetition. Uh, if you have any questions whatsoever, just drop me a line or comment on the video and we'll make sure we'll try and answer the questions as good as we can from LMP. So thank you very much for your time.